We've been exploring details of this movement called the wash rag. This may be part of the home practice plan we covered in a private session. I'm Eric Cooper, InspireSomatics.com in Manchester, Michigan. There are separate detailed videos for a simple wash rag version without the arms, focusing more purely on twisting, wash rag arms, and wash rag legs. Here is the opportunity to put it all together. Also, it's okay to start here. Lie on your back and notice. How do you meet the mat? Notice the places that give in to gravity more easily than others. Where is the system not so quick to give in? Notice the arch of your low back. Is your front relaxed? How do your shoulders meet the mat? Is one side more fully on the mat than the other? Are you feeling stress? Where is that? Without sliding on the mat, begin to roll your head to the side. Stop at the first resistance. Then slowly, to the other side. Notice the soft limit. Take a snapshot of what you notice and come back to neutral. Do not go into any pain or discomfort in this movement. Slow, smooth, and gentle will yield better results, a greater understanding, and a deeper self-knowledge. Bring your knees up, feet on mat, knees close together, Ankles close. Bring the knees gently to the side. Then rock softly to the other side. Keep that going back pocket to back pocket. Go slow enough to sense and control it all the way, not forcing it just to the first resistance. As your knees go to the side, pause and roll your head just as gently opposite the knees. Bring everything back to center, then to the other side. Notice the first resistance in that lovely twist of the spine you are creating. Leave the arching of the back out of it and go smoothly to the other side, head opposite knees, and pause right there. Look inside carefully. Can you find 1 or 2 percent effort along the whole length of the spine, just gently? Look for the place you are missing. Welcome that place back. Have it help. Backing out of that effort, smoothly to the other side. Again, 1 to 2 percent effort along the whole length of the spine. Where is it hard to sense? Turn it on. Tighten it slightly to sense it. Can it be yawning like, not striving, but pleasurable? The center twists, the low back the spine at the ribs, the low neck, the long chain, all helping with the twist. Continue in an easy way. Don't crash through the gate. Notice the limit as you go out to the side. Then, less and less effort back out of the tension, smoothly in a synchronized way, all the way to the other side. Ring your body out from the center like wringing out a wash rag. Sense the twist from inside. We're focusing on pandiculation, that contraction slow relax pattern. This reminds the brain to remember the places it forgot. It causes a recalibration. The smooth slowness teaches the system a fuller control of tension. Finish the one that you're on and rest. Bring arms out like a lazy T. Elbows stay relaxed. Bring feet wider than hip width apart. Put your awareness into your left arm. As if the upper arm was a rolling pin, roll the arm downward. The rolling arm turns the elbow, the forearm twists inward, the hand rotates and slowly relax out of that and see where it ends up. 
Roll just the left arm up the mat. Shoulder blade tucks down your back. Arm rolls. Forearm twists. How do fingers move in a graceful continuation of the rotation? Just easy, lazy. And now let the arm rest. See where it goes. Bring your awareness to the right arm. Let's see if we can originate the movement from the center and then have it cascade out to the periphery. A little breath in for a running start. Exhale from the right ribs, sink them down. Can that be the beginning of the shoulder blade rolling forward? Shoulder blade comes forward, the arm rolls downward, forearm twists, hand and fingers express the rotation. Breath in, ribs fill. Shoulder blade tucks down the back. The upward rotation of the arm, the movement cascades all the way to the fingers. Pause right there with right arm rolled up, roll the left arm down. Opposites. Now smoothly, in a synchronized way, go all the way to the other side and keep that going. In which way does the head want to turn? Without sliding the back of the head on the mat, head rolls as if to look to the upturned palm, other hand rolled down. Slowly to the other side, head looks to the upturned palm, away from the downturned palm. You see, you can do it. It's like it was meant to be. Sense how the spine further down the neck twists, the ribs move, the shoulder blades forward and back, arm rotation spirals all the way out to the hands. Everywhere, an easy effort. Pleasurable, smooth, and slow. Come to rest. That's the upper half. We'll throw that in later. For a brief moment, We'll focus on relaxing the low back. With a deep belly breath in, gently arch your low back. Roll both arms up the mat. Create an even arch of the back, not forcing it, just easy and pleasurable. Now, slowly, smoothly, lower down out of that. Take your time, all the way to rest. To the best of your ability, Leave the arching of the back out of the next part of the sequence. Bring feet wider than hip width apart. Left knee drops in toward right ankle. Allow the side of the waist to lengthen as you let gravity pull the leg down, just as far as it easily goes. Notice what you use to pull the knees back up. Right knee drops in toward left ankle. Waist lengthens. Pause right there. Can you lower the left leg comfortably out to the side? Then, how does the torso help pull the knees back up to the top? Over to the other side. Left knee drops in. Right leg easily out to the side. What can you contract, tighten, to add 1 or 2 percent effort to push the knees down towards the floor? Where does that happen? Let the torso be the engine of this movement. Now, keep it going. Torso moves the pelvis that moves the legs. 1% contraction at the end, as if to go just a little further. As you go out to the side, pause right there. Without sliding the back of the head, head rolls to face away from the knees. Arms roll. Look to the upturned palm, looking away from the downturned palm. And very carefully, back to center, continuing through to the other side. Leave the arching back out of it. How does the torso move? Where is the contraction in the torso that rolls everything to the sides? Smoothly to the other side. Waist lengthens on one side, closes on the other. This brings the legs to the side. Head rolls opposite. Look to the upturned arm 
as opposite arm rolls down. Make it very gently yawning-like and pleasurable. Don't force it. Control it. Feel the line of the upturned arm, that long, glamorous human line. That's the pin-up shot. When the paparazzi are coming your way, don't get flustered. Just do the wash rag. You might be on the cover of Vogue next month. As you go out to the side, pause right there. Find your resting breath. Little breath in for a running start. Exhale. Back to the center as you take the breath in. Exhale out to the side. How does that exhale help you twist? Inhale back to center. What closes? What opens? Exhale out to the side. Is everything helping? What place did you forget? Easy, soft effort everywhere. Inhale back to center. Exhale to the side, yawning-like, not forcing it, lazy. Out to the side and pause. Let's change the breathing. As you're out to the side, inhale into that long open side and exhale back to center. Inhale out to the side. The breath makes you longer. Exhale back to center. Glamorous and elegant, that beautiful spiral cascading outward. Allow the breath to move you. Inhale to the side. A few more. Smooth and slow, like you're in a dream. Everything helps. Contraction, relax. Finish the one you're on. Arms by your side, legs down. And notice, sense from the inside. How does your body give in to gravity? How is this different from when you started? Notice the arch of your low back. Is your front relaxed? How do your shoulders meet the mat? Are you feeling stress? What are the noticeable differences between the sides? Is there more of you there to notice? Did you change how you feel? Begin to roll your head to the side. Stop at the first resistance. Then slowly to the other side. Notice the soft limit. Recall how this was when we began. As you go forth into the world, use your twist. Are you having a gentle twist in your walk, in your run? in your dance, when you're driving, when you're looking in your blind spot, is it just your neck or is your neck connected to the rest of you? These videos are tools to free yourself from the tension patterns of stress and injury. When moving in this way, you're actually recalibrating your tension control. I hope you find this valuable in restoring function, reducing pain, and finding ease and grace in your movement. I'm Eric Cooper, InspireSomatics.com in Manchester, Michigan. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for practicing today. Blessings on your journey.